Hey, baby Blobsoms and Titans. What's going on? How y'all doing today? I am currently working on some super moon work. Okay. I'm getting ready for later on tonight and I'm prepping or dressing. And um, I want to show you guys what I am doing for the super moon. It is best to pull in all types of abundance, prosperity. If this is what you're looking for, this is the time to do it. It's not the time to be working on baneful or left-handed magic. Not the time at all. I got a couple of things that I need to do, but not today. So right now I am am just finished up doing a wealth bag. If you want to go see that video, it is detailed in the previous video. So I did this and I'm going to put this on my altar and I'm going to charge it tonight up under the full moon when I go out there. So this is one thing that I am done with and I just need to charge before I put it in my purse. Next, we're about to um, anoint this Bayberry candle for some seven day candle work. And as long as this candle is burning is how long I'm going to be focused on this particular work. So let me turn my camera so you guys can see. I know I am in mode of just work mode just cleansing myself and yeah so of course i use money if i'm bringing in prosperity i put all of my most of my work on top of money this is particular money goes on my prosperity altar that is over here but i pulled it off just to put it on here to energize this candle with pulling in money that's what i want to do i'm going to spray some of this bayberry um, Seven Sister New Orleans spray around my work before I get started to set the energy, set the tone, honey. You got to set the tone. Now I have my Bayberry candle here. Right here. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to cleanse this candle with some Florida water. Okay, I usually put it on my hands. I think it smells amazing. There's so many different types of colognes and waters. You just want to remove all the energy off of um, said candle. You don't know who had touched the candle. I'm going to cleanse it as you think about your desires and your wants and your needs and your intentions. All right, that's done. Next, I'm going to um, cleanse this candle. And this is a cinnamon incense. I'm just gonna light right quick. Even though I cleansed it with Florida water, I just like to add the incense. And this is the smell of cinnamon. Cinnamon is used in a lot of prosperity work. This moon cycle is like, I think it's the last super moon for of spring in 22. So, or last full moon. I can't remember what they said, but yeah, I'm about to get in on this work. So my incense is lit. I'm gonna cleanse my candle. Okay, and I also, I'm working with the number seven. So I'm gonna add seven holes and I usually do it with a bamboo stick, but let me tell you guys something. It's great to do it with this incense. It goes, just hold it taut and it goes right on through. I need seven holes. I'm working with the number seven on this candle. Now, all of my ritual seven-day candles, I also sell 
um, exclusive intent candles on my site. I have different arrays, different cons, visionsbybasoria.com if you want to see the seven day candles. I also have the option of buying them as is, as well as dressing them for you. Your choice. I'll dress them for you with my herbs. Put this incense down. All right. So now this is done. I, I'll also do this. I take the excess and then I like clean all that off because I like pretty work, honey. Clean all that off. And I'm also going to write, take a couple of bay leaves, try to get as whole as possible if you can. If not, it's okay. And I'm gonna do three of those. And I'm going to write, if I can find my permanent marker. If not, just use a pen. But you know I'm over the top, I'm gonna go all out. I like a certain one, honey, y'all, here you go. So I'm gonna write on these this um, bay leaf. I'm gonna write because I'm gonna keep these for later on tonight when I go outside and I work do my cauldron work. So up on the full moon. So on this one, I'm gonna write prosperity. This one I'm gonna write money. And on this one, I'm gonna write wealth all in the same realm but all meaning something different so we got that done I'm just gonna add this around the candle until later and I'm gonna let the candle charge until I go outside I might go ahead and take it outside and put it on my balcony too okay next up we're gonna add the herbs now this particular dressing First, we're going to start off with some cinnamon, okay? Put just, you do not need a lot, just a little bit of cinnamon. It's a sticky herb. You're going to need some type of prosperity oil, abundance oil, wealth oil. This is it. I use this all the time. This is my own exclusive oil. Um, this one here is the prosperity oil. Okay, so you're going to add the oil in the holes, however many holes you place. But listen, do not over oil your candle. It might give you, once it burns down, you don't want a lot of soot. So if you put, some people are heavy handed. You do not need a lot, just a couple of drops in each hole. As you say what you need to say, you're in setting your intention you can say it out loud i say mine in my head because you don't need to know all my thoughts okay done now this one here i'm also going to be using some cinnamon oil and cinnamon oil of course you know you know cinnamon oil is very powerful um that's a very powerful oil i actually put cinnamon inside of my prosperity oil but i want some pure cinnamon oil so i'm gonna add just a little bit on top of my prosperity oil inside of the holes just a tad if you don't have cinnamon oil of course you can use cinnamon powder and leave it like that you can use cinnamon roots around your work but I just like uh, pretty work and I like I like a lot of herbs. So in my mortar here, I already have uh, the herbs that I'm going to use. I broke them down as well. And what's in here is chamomile flower, catnip, orris root, sage leaf as well as some of the bay leaves okay so i'm gonna take some of this herb
place it inside the candle. Again, do not be heavy handed. You do not need much because it can cause a fire if you don't know what you're doing. If you got to move them away from the wick, that's what you do. We want you to be safe. All right, done. Now we're gonna add a little bit of fast money powder, um, drawing powder on top of this work. Again, you don't need much of this. I do sell these on my site, um, fast look, fast money drawing, um, showers of gold, all different kinds um, on my online website. And now I'm also gonna add, some people say, you know, you work hoodoo. They don't like a lot of glitter. It is what it is. I like my work to shine. So green represents what? Money, abundance, and wealth. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that just because I like pretty work. Just because I like pretty work, y'all. Okay. This is my candle dressed and ready to burn i'm gonna say a wealth um psalm over my work if you go to my spell bag or my wealth bag video i have the psalm that i'm going to read on this particular work here and also most of the candles have psalms or have something that you can say um as your incantation over the work but I'm gonna use a song. And also, I use a little bit of water here. This is a little jar that I got from Dollar Tree. I put a little bit of water here. All of my seven day candles, I put in a water bath just in case, and I, I never um, snuff them out. I let my candles burn. And once I do the work, every day I'm gonna sit with it. I'm gonna sit with it at least 15 minutes, I'll, I try to. And then I also work my work, work my conjure, put the intentions, I work it, you feed it, feed it your energy. That is what it is all about. And I go out to make the money. Tomorrow I have to work. I'm gonna work extra hard, but hopefully I will meet people um, about my business and this and that. You have to put the work in. Faith without works is dead, all right? And then I place my candle in here, like so. And then this particular candle goes in my altar, in my other room, in my space. With money and everything that I do. Now you can place money, you can place the herbs that you use, just whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to take a small plate like this, a smaller one, and I'm going to add herbs all the way around it. And it's gonna sit on this money. That's what I'm gonna do with this. Now we're gonna do a honey jar. I'm gonna do a honey jar for myself. Um, I'm gonna work it. I'm probably gonna use this smaller jar here, but I'm gonna fill it up with herbs and I'm gonna come back with that particular video. I'm working prosperity on this super moon. Guys, if you like to any of my rituals or my spells or my services, Please feel free. You can reach out to me if you need any work done. Um, I do love spells. I do uh, wealth magic. I do protection work. I do return to sender work. I do a lot of different works, okay? Um, you can go to my site. Give me a message, vision, visionsbiblestory.com. You can send me a message with the title of this video or the title of any of my ritual videos that you would like work to be done or the type of work you would like to be done, it'll let me know. And what I'll do is I'll reach back out to you in order to tell you that I'll perform the ritual or what I will need in order to do said ritual. All rituals are done at my own discretion and dependent on the cycle of the moon, I work up under the moon cycles, which means I will hold the work until that specific cycle comes around that is needed for me to do the work. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and support my channel. 
If you have any, any questions about this particular spell, please reach out to me on my website. Again, it is visionsbyvasori.com with the title of the video. And the question that you will need to ask me about the spell, and I will try to answer your questions as best as I can. Remember to only come into my space respectfully. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload new content. Also, go check out my website, visionsbyvasori.com. A lot of the items that I showed, showed you today are available on my site. For any of your spiritual needs, all of my links are listed in the bio. And again, you, many blessings and ashe to you. I'll be back with my honey spell jar for prosperity. Bye, y'all. Talk to y'all later.